I absolutely love the quality of these questions coming in, talking about immune system initiated diabetes as well as beta cell initiated diabetes. So question goes, wouldn't the beta cells have to send a signal to trigger the T cells? Otherwise T cells would attack other cells. Find what the beta cells are signaling that causes the T cell to attack them and that would be okay, right? Well, first off, this goes against the, the grain, the mainstream narrative that our immune system is the initiator of the issue and that something with our immune system is just causing this inadvertent attack on very specific cell types for diabetics is beta cells. But what this commenter is suggesting is that what if there's something wrong with the beta cells that are causing the immune system to attack it? And I've talked about this quite a bit because it never made sense to me to immediately villainize the immune system because in any body, the immune system is involved in every single second of every single cell's life. So why on earth would it pick just one cell, eliminate it, and put the host at risk of dying? And the question nobody asks, which is what this is, is what if there was something wrong with the beta cell? And a huge part of my strategy in addressing my own type 1 diabetes has been addressing cellular health, specifically iron overload, vitamin and mineral balance that facilitate proper cellular function. I don't know that people with type 1 diabetes have beta cells that have like a specific like, hey, kill me, kill me signal on them. I think it is a progressive overload of imbalances that make them dysfunctional. When they become dysfunctional, a healthy immune system, which is what we really have, sees them and is like, hey, body, you know, those cells aren't looking too healthy. I think I have to take care of them. And let's not forget that our immunity and thus our autoimmunity is learned. I've just gone down this great big rabbit hole on the thymus gland and how the thymus gland of our endocrine system is responsible for teaching lymphocytes and the resulting B cells and T cells what is friend and what is foe. So if you look at the growth of a human and how in the early stages of their life, if there is any sort of systemic dysfunction, what if in those formative years of their immune system forming, their thymus gland learns that hey, these beta cells aren't healthy, so we have to take care of them. And so in later years, if you were to address the imbalances that made those beta cells dysfunctional, you would also have to reprogram the thymus gland to trust that the beta cells that were being regenerated were safe. 